Hello everybody and welcome to Wiki Wednesdays, a production brought to you by Asmodian Gaming. Today we are going to discuss Krasna Siezgin Poland. Uh, well, it's a district in Siezgin, Silesian Voivodeship, Poland. Uh, I'm probably butchering these names horribly but uh it is what it is also just a note all this information comes from wikipedia you can easily go pull up the page and read most of this information yourself uh, let's see it became part of cs in 1973. Oop, look, there's a creeper oh boy gotta get him get the creeper get the creeper There it goes. Boom. Uh, let's see. Krasna is in the Silesian foothills. And its name means a beautiful village. Ooh, nice little cave to go explore in here. Uh, I'm recording the voiceover after running around playing in survival mode for a minute. Let's see. Farmers have been in the area of Krasna as far back as the 4th millennia BC. Uh, the first written mention, mention of Krasna was in 1284. Oh, digging my way out of the cave there. Got a nice little, uh, little hut above ground built there with my beautiful underground base with my supplies and whatnot. Uh, most of this stuff was built all within about a day, and then I hadn't played in a while until now. Let's see. Krasna became part of the Habsburg Monarchy in 1526. Uh, if you don't know much about the Habsburgs, uh, they basically ruled a whole lot of everything for a while, and now they don't. Maybe they do. I don't know. I don't know that much about geopolitics. Politics? Yeah, words. Let's see. Uh, it was given by Adam Wenceslas to Dominican Abbey in Siezen to make up for their lost gardens. When I wrote that down, it made more sense. But now I don't remember. Also, you might hear my cat in the background. She's locked out, but she's loud and she's angry. Uh, let's see. In the beginning of the 20th century, they got a Catholic and a Lutheran cemetery chapel, one of each. Uh, let's see, the population grew from a staggering 483 to an overwhelming 487 from 1880 to 1910. Uh, most of the early days, it was uh, predominantly Polish speaking, speaking, and most of those people were Roman Catholics. Shut up, kitty. Um, let's see. Ooh, we're doing some mining in the deep dark. Oh, got scared. I'm trying to figure out what's going on down there. Let's see. It became part of Poland after World War I. Uh, then it was annexed by the Nazis at the beginning of World War II. And then after World War II, we got given back to Poland. Uh, I decided to Google it. And the first two results I got are for a church, if uh, my Google Translate stuff was accurate. I looked through a lot of the Google stuff with the Google Translate, and oh hey, I'm looking at the camera. Hey everybody, that's me, that's Modian. Check me out with my cool 3D glasses, iron armor, iron pickaxe, weird cape. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, all the Google stuff pretty much went to like the same church. So, like, that one church is the only thing on the internet about this place. It is a, it's basically like a, a small area of a town, of a state, if we compare it to what we deal with here, of a country, if that makes sense. So, it's like, I don't know, what is it, West End, Nashville, you know, Tennessee, U.S., stuff like that. Anyway, uh, 
Based on some information I was able to throw together from the church-related articles, there appears to be about 180 families in that area. Uh, let's see. There were only 10 things listed on TripAdvisor, which took me a minute to figure all that out. Uh, eight of them are historic sites, and they are all pretty nice little areas. Uh, nothing I would personally want to go see, but if you happen to be in the area, you might as well. Uh, and there are at least two museums in the area, according to TripAdvisor. Obviously, you'd be visiting a much larger area than just this one little district if you went there. And that's about all the information I have on this uh, town, beautiful village. So thank you for joining me for Wiki Wednesdays, and uh, have a good day. Hope you learned something new.